Restrictions for polygamy. I, I'm always asked about polygamy, and surely you've had to, to ask about, you've been asked about it. Isn't your religion the one that allows polygamy? Ooh, and they're mean about it. They don't ask nicely, they get, they get mean, and they're expecting you're gonna get very defensive about this. And what I say is I would much rather have a religion where, as a first wife, I would have to be asked for permission for my husband to take a second wife. And without that permission, it's not gonna happen. And that it's only under very restricted circumstances, and the rules about them are so strict that most men would choose not choose this, because to treat two women exactly equally and, and justly is so difficult that most men choose, don't choose to do this. But in this society where polygamy is not allowed, what happens? Are, does that mean men stay faithful their whole marriage? About 50% of marriages end in divorce due to infidelity, primarily on the male's part. So this rules of polygamy actually are a safety net in society, a safety net against what is haram and what would be humiliating to a woman. I can't think of anything more humiliating than being a loyal wife whose husband had a mistress, or, and you discovered it 10, 15, 20 years later. But it, this society doesn't allow for any extenuating circumstances, and we end up in haram. <laughs>